Good morning, Miss Burgess here. I was going to be doing this video outside, but this is what it looks like right now. So, we are inside today. This week we're going to be studying measurement. Length in particular, how long something is. In America, we have two different measuring systems. One is called standard and one is called the metric system. Now, when I was a little girl, my teachers told me we have to learn both because America will eventually switch over to the metric system and you need to know it. Well, it's been a long time since I've been in elementary school and guess what? We never made the switch. So, guess what? You get to learn them both too. So today we're starting with standard measurement. These are the things that we're used to, inches, feet, yards, and miles. This is also called customary measurement because standard and customary, it just means your normal way. It means the same thing, just two different names for it. On Wednesday, we'll be talking about the metric system, millimeters, centimeters, meters, and kilometers. So this week in math, you're going to be doing several activities where you just guess how long something is, then you're going to actually go measure it, and then subtract those two numbers to see how close you were with your guess to the actual measurement. This is one of those concepts that you're going to use for the rest of your life. In real life, I do this all the time, so do your parents. But if you find yourself in a situation when you don't have a ruler on you, there are tricks that you can use to help you take a pretty close guess. It's not perfect, but it's a good close guess. So here's what you do for an inch. I have a book. It's a really cool book, actually. It was printed back in 1914, over 100 years ago, and it's a history book. And if I wanted to know about how long this book is, so what you do is you roll up your pinky finger and that little flat part is about an inch. So I could take this book and I could go one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's about six inches long. But if I actually measure it, let's see how close it is. It's actually seven inches. So it wasn't perfect, but it got us pretty close. Now for a foot, and so you could just guess about how long a human foot is. Probably an adult, not like your size. So what you do is, you could step back, and I'm gonna see how far it is from this door to my desk. So I'm just gonna use my feet and put heel to toe and count how many. So my first one's already down, so that's one foot, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's about eight feet from the door to my desk. I'm going to measure, and it is seven and a half feet. So that's pretty close. Now if I wanted to know how long this phone cord is, usually a good guess for how long a yard is is from your nose to the end of your fingertips. It's actually a little longer than that for me, so I always allow for that. So if I wanted to know how long this iPhone cord was, it's going to be a little more than a yard. So, if I measured it with this yardstick, sure enough, it's a little bit more than a yard. So it helps if you're at Home Depot and you need to know about how much a yard is, that's a good guesstimate, from your nose to the tip of your finger. Okay, and the last one we'll talk about today is a mile. A mile is what you would use to measure longer distances. So if I go outside to go on a run right now, I'm not going to measure that distance with inches and feet and yards, or at least I hope I'm not, we would measure in miles. So miles would be something you could use to measure from your house to the school, or from your house to the mall, or your house to a park that you wanna go ride your bike at. So that's it for today. Have fun measuring.